So what was your first thought today? Well, when it happened, both Jim and I were at sea on that Sunday, and Jim called me and told me about it, and we both instantly knew that it was gone. Uh, once the, the, the data we heard that they were experiencing trouble, they were on their descent, and then when the tracking system went out and everything went out, the only way you could explain it was a catastrophic implosion. And it just seemed like speculation, even though we felt we knew what the outcome was gonna be, and it was certainly zero surprise to me today. I was even able to visualize the wreck site in my mind over the last few days, and and uh, you know, as described, I, I think it's exactly what we expected. But you know, I can't imagine what these poor families have been through over the last four days, being given false hope here, banging noises, da-da-da, this and that, and, um, you know, it must have been just, uh, you know, horrible for them. And I, I, I feel so bad for them. But I also felt that, uh, as, as we agreed, Bob, that it would be insensitive to come forward with a dissenting voice to the, to the story that was uh, in motion at the time and all that sort of thing. But to me, the big irony is that the Titanic sank because of bad seamanship. The captain was warned and he took a, he took a decision to go full speed into a known ice field that was that he had Marconi gram, you know, telegrams in his pocket um, warning about the ice ahead. And on a moonless night where they couldn't see anything, they just steamed full speed ahead. And I kind of feel that that's what happened here. I, I feel that this is this was such a preventable tragedy we've never had a tragedy like this in the entire history of deep submergence deep diving you have these you know uh, uh highly certified systems like alvin at woods hole which bob is very familiar with uh the, even the russian submersibles that i that i dove with they every five years they had to be reclassified and, and recertified and so on and uh, you have all these legitimate uh, deep diving operations around the world and even most of the tourist operations around the world use certification from let's say ABS the American Bureau of Shipping and this particular outfit didn't do that I had deep concerns about the technology that they were using composite uh, composite fiber uh, wound filament hull which I don't believe has any place in deep submergence and I know a thing or two about about you know the engineering that goes into subs i designed and built my own sub and went you know at, at uh, one point ten years ago uh went three times deeper than titanic at the at the uh challenger deep so you know it's 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 all just engineering and these are understood and known problems the last thing somebody should be thinking about when they get into a sub to pay to go to go deep as a tourist or as a uh you know what do you call it like a lay explorer they shouldn't have to worry about the sub that they're in it, this is just engineering and it's the 21st century if you think about when when these um uh, when we first started diving deep back in the there is no excuse for what happened here and i i find it appalling and tragic is cap the can the pressure inside the can yep and that's the whole ball game a differential is sealed while it's still hot, and then allowed to cool, the steam condenses, and the internal pressure drops, meaning the now much greater external pressure pushes in on the surface.